Hello guys, this is XavierMan117 here. Now before I get into what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm sitting at the uh, title screen for Mountain Blade Warband, I'd like to explain one thing you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, Simon, why does your voice sound different? Well, the short answer to that is that I got a new microphone. Well, to be honest, that's the only answer to that. Uh, previously, my uh, headset broke. I got a new headset. Uh, I broke that one too, just by sitting there. It just randomly broke. Honestly, honest to God, I did not sit on it like I did with my first headset. Uh, so now I've got one of those really awesome headphones, you know, the ones that go over your ears with a fluffy mic. And apparently this records my voice much more naturally. Uh, it has come to my attention that, according to this microphone, I do sound slightly stupid. <laughs> Rather stupid. Uh, any voices that I attempt to do when it comes to voice acting and giving people a Mountain Blade Warband a voice, uh, probably isn't going to turn out well, because I can't hear how I sound, and therefore I can't do voice acting that well. So, if you expect voice acting from me, one, I suck at it, uh, two, I'm probably not going to be able to do it very well. Right, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, this here is Mount and Blade Warband. You uh, can probably tell that, judging by the fact it says Mount and Blade Warband right here. So, uh, if you don't know what this game is, I'll get into it, and you'll see what it is. It is an RPG-like game which is open-ended, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty awesome. So uh, I'm going to get into it, and you guys are going to see what I'm going to do. Basically, you can create any type of character, any gen... Well, there's only two genders, so... Uh, both genders, and you can turn them into whatever you want. Welcome, adventurer, to Diplomacy for Mountain Blade Warband. Okay, uh, I'm actually using a mod. This mod is the Diplomacy mod. It does not change the game that much, other than adding more diplomatic options to being a uh, ruler of your own kingdom. So, it will be as close to the regular game as physically possible. Okay, uh, before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. This does not mean that you should choose to create... So, you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women in common is going to attain all the same goals, and in fact may have a more interesting, if more challenging, early game. Right, now, um, before I go on, I don't know if you guys can actually hear that, but it's a washing machine, no, it's not a washing machine, a dryer, uh, drying machine there. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but um, if you can, please try to ignore it. It's just, my sister's left her thing going on. So, uh, okay, continue, select your character's gender, I'm going to go male for immersive purposes. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was uh, an impoverished noble. Ah, ah, accident hit F12. Uh, your father was an impoverished noble, a travelling merchant, a veteran warrior, a hunter, a step nomad, or a thief. Right, um, I've played through the starting characters here, and just because you guys are going to want to see a lot of fighting, I'm going to go for a warrior history, a veteran warrior. Okay. As a child, your family scrabbled out a meagre living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with or without a weapon in hand. Sounds pretty good. You learned, started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a uh, page at a nobleman's court, craftsman, apprentice... Uh, did I just say apprentice? There's, apparently there's no R in apprentice now. Uh, apprentice, a shop assistant, a street urchin, or a stepchild. Military, military. Uh, page in a nobleman's court would probably be the closest thing to military. Right. Uh, as a boy growing out of childhood, you were sent to live in the court of one of the nobles of the land. There, your first lessons were in humility as you waited upon the lords and ladies of the household. But from their chess games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You also learned about from the rough games of the other children who battered each other with sticks in imitation of their elders' swords. Then, as a young adult, life changes as always does. Well, duh. You became a squire, a troubadour, that's like a, um, a bard, university student, a goods peddler, a smith, or a game poacher. Military means squire, definitely have to go squire. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks, hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligation to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric idea, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior's stories of Rus's power politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valour to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was personal revenge, loss of a loved one, wanderlust, being forced out of your home, and lust for money and power. 
These do not relate to military at all, so I can pick whichever one. I reckon personal revenge is probably the best one. Personal revenge probably uh, appeals to the most violent bit. Right, so I'm gonna go with personal revenge. Personal revenge. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it's not a difficult choice to leave, with the rage burning brightly in your heart. You want vengeance, you want justice. What was done to you cannot be undone, and these debts can only be paid in blood. Sounds interesting. This will be fun. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Oh, here we go. Okay, realistic, no quitting without saving. Yes, definitely, so I can't lose any data. Okay, now enter your name and distribute your attribute, skill, and weapon points. You can click on various elements in the screen to learn how each one will affect your character. Right? So first of all, name. You see, I could probably come up with a really good name. I mean, I could name him Xavier, I could name him Simon, I could name him Awesome Killer of Everyone Who Ever Encounters. But I reckon I'm just going to name him Bill. Bill. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Okay, so I'm Bill. Now, I need... It's going to be a warrior, a warrior build. So first of all, I'm going to need some strength, a bit of strength, so I can deal out some hard knocks, as it said before. Uh, I'm going to need at some point when I want to start making, you know, uh, what am I thinking of? I'm going to need charisma and intelligence when I want to start making army, so I can use the leadership skill. Oh, I've already got three lead. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Okay, so um, th I'll definitely have to improve that later. Prisoner management? Hmm. I'll come back to that. Uh, at least one, so I can make some money off prisoners, but for now it'll be good. Trade? No, I can have one of my later companions do that. So, Iron Flesh? Definitely. Power Strike's already at four. Okay, so... Athletics. Definitely Athletics, so I can run faster. Ooh, may maybe Shield, but um... Maybe not. I'll, I'll leave that for now. So, gonna put some in Agility, so I can run faster. And, um, I'm a fan of one-handed weapons, but I know that I'm going to need to use two-handed weapons at some point. And some polearm would certainly come in handy. It's going to be a mostly melee-oriented carrier character. Not a carrier. This is not League of Legends. Right, so, now, skin. Randomize, 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 randomize. Hmm. That skin, but not that hair. What hair do I want? That hair is a good one. Hmm. Now that's not a bad look. It's, it's like, it's a beard. It's a nice beard. It's not too much. It's not too little. Maybe a different hair color. Maybe a little bit more brown. That's it. There we go. Um, no, I actually think that's pretty good. Make his age lower, because I can. And I'd say we're done. Alright, so you hear about Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Calradia and its kingdoms, you... Okay, so we've got different places. Join a caravan to Praedom in the kingdom of Swadia. Join a caravan to Ravardin in the kingdom of the Vegas. Join a caravan to Tolga in the Kurjit Khanate. Do you take a ship to Sargoth in the kingdom of the Nords. Take a ship to Dalkala in the kingdom of the Rodox. And join a caravan to Shariz in the Saranid Sultanate. Hmm. I've played Mountain Blade before, to a degree. Uh... So, this is not a tutorial of how you should play. This is just my personal playthrough. <sighs> Nords have the Sea Raiders as, like, their pirates, and they're hard, so, um... I'm just going to go with Swadia, because Swadia has reasonably easy bandits to deal with as a start-up. For a start-up character to deal with. You come by car... You, sorry, you came by caravan. I came. <laughs> through caravan. Uh, through the heartland of Calradia, green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills, and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountain, herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are a pride of the Swadia nobility. Well, I would suppose so. I, I would hope they would be. War horses are very valuable. 
The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness, poor guys. You take a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge, and there's some relief when you crest a ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven, its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. What a what lovely uh, imagery there. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out into the streets which are deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Continue. Here I am. Hmm. Where is this guy? Where's this guy who's slit his blade from my scab... From his scabbard, not mine! Oh, that sounded dirty! That's like medieval dirty talk. Oh, there you are, there you are! Ha! Ha! Oh, there we go! Fight me, bitch, fight me! Die! Slash! Slash! Uh, if you have no idea how to fight in Mountain Blade, this is not a tutorial. If you want to play it, <laughs> play the tutorial, for God's sakes, because I'm not going over how to fight. That was... that was fairly easy. That, was, that wasn't bad. Oh, Merchant of Praven, who's this guy? Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. Well, at least it's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although, heaven knows you won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. I'm gonna read out everything for you guys, because I know you, you can't read as fast as I can, because I'm a really fast reader. Okay, so the merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Sorry, I'm just being an idiot. Okay, uh, Merchant of Praven, here we go. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leading... How can I not speak properly? Leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town looking for unwary prey. Bear with me. I'm not a good public speaker. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers to you are meant to keep an eye on the street and all that. But I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls, who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother... Oh, your brother. I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry for your loss, man. Uh, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know what my brother was thinking... Okay, we're just going to go on about your brother. Uh, a lad from a prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here. But I didn't know... But, sorry, and didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse, but his family. So what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people start thinking that you can't protect your investment either. I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with the blade, and more importantly, you have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to Calradia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track these bandits down to their lair, and teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? I am interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted, I'll warrant. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for work. It's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this purse of 100 dinars. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go round to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I reckon you'll need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir, said Bill. I'll go collect some man men from around the villages. Good. You can find me in the tavern here in Praven, after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. You have taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing Q any time in game. Right, Q. Collect five men. There we go. Merchant wants me to collect five men from nearby villages. After I collect them, speak with him in the tavern in Praven. Excellent. Excellent. So, let's get going on, shall we? Oh, that, that's how you leave. Press tab to leave now. You can press tab quickly to exit any location in the game. Suppose we should do that. All right, so we're out here in the field. What do we want to do? I don't know if you can hear my dog barking, but she's barking. All right, so um, what do we do? Move around. Oh, left click to move in. Okay, you are now viewing the overland map. Left click on the map to move your party to that location. Either the select, sorry, enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. 
Time will pause on the overland map if your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. To wait anywhere, simply press and hold down the spacebar. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, some looters there. Uh, there's ten of them, regardless how strong they are. Ten to one is not good odds. Uh, so here's a village. I'll just go here. Uh, Asgat. Asgat, okay. Interesting name. The village of Asgat... I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to read these out, because it's just too much. Uh, very prosperous. Recruit volunteers. Five Swati and recruits volunteer to follow you. Well, five straight up. Well, there you go. Fuck me. How lucky am I? So there's six of me. Six men. Great. Excellent. So uh, back to Praven, then. Got five men. Back to Praven. Yeah, that's it. You run away, bitch. You run. Oh, there's a tournament. I'll have to come back to that later. This is heaven. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right, let's go. Uh, five men. I have five men. Let's talk. Look, you need... I need more men. You said five men. Right now, you only have five in your party. Are you retarded? Yep. He's retarded. He's definitely retarded. If you attack them with too few men, you may find their hideout by getting yourself dragged up to it in fetters. What the fuck is fetters? Speak English, man! And that's not the plan. Do not take that risk. Go out and visit some more villages to find more volunteers. Then you can start paying... So then you can start paying them back in their own coin. Wait, that last sentence didn't make sense. Oh, I'll think about it. It'll probably make sense. Right, so leave. Tournament comes later. Quest comes first. Vader. Vader. Darth Vader. So that is the next village I should probably go to and pick up some more volunteers there. Maybe if I just get one more, he'll be happy. Recruit volunteers. No one here seems to be willing to join your party. Come on, man! I'll lead you to glory! Oh, one, oh I don't want to take a hostile action. These people are nice. I don't want to be mean. Uh, Lyanda. Lyanda Hole. Beach? You guys can lie in the hole because you didn't want to come with me and earn money. Fine, fine, be like that. Live your boring lives. Live your boring lives. It's five Swati and recruits, wonderful. That should be enough. Are you happy now? I have double what you asked me to get. So now, Bill has uh, 11 men, including himself, at 100%. 10 Swati and recruits. If that's not enough, I don't know what is. Visit the tavern. Here he is again. Oh, who's this guy? Mercenary crossbowman. Oh, mercenary. There you go. Oh, there we go. Splendid work. You've hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travellers entering Praven have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect that they are all from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down, defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their land. Very well. I shall hunt for bandits. Hey, if that's the end of conversation, let's go. Quest log has been updated. Learn where the hostages are held. Find and defeat a group of bandits lurking near Praven, and learn when your employer's brother has been taken. No problems. It's like taken, but medieval. So, oh, there we go. The name's blue, that must be important. Band of robbers. This seems to be the guys. Okay, what do you want? Uh, oh, I've been looking for you. This clears the right band. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep prisoners, and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners are going free only if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Oh my god, that is like the most badass quote I have encountered thus far in Mountain Blade Warband in this playthrough. <laughs> it, it is legitimately. I'm not just saying that. It is. Okay, uh, shh, you have encountered a band of robbers. You have 11 troops fit for battle against their four. 11 to 4. 11 to 4. The odds are clearly not in my favour. I must leave. Now, nah, charge the enemy. Or order your troops to attack without you. Now I want to lead the fight. Let's go. This is my band. This is my band. <sighs> oh well, if I must. Uh, sort to my sword, my shield. And I'm on a horse, I'm on a horse. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Give him a lick. Give him a lick, lick him. Lick him, Swati, and recruit, lick him. Lick him or I will stab you. I'll stab you. Don't, don't make me... Lick the fucking horse! Lick the horse! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh shit. Brakes! 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 Okay, I'm alive. It's good, it's good. Uh, I'm just gonna press back. Oh, they're, they're this way. They're this way. Excellent. Oh, no, no, not escape, not escape. Here we go. Here's one. And ah, uh, you. Oh, how could I? <laughs> how could I? Ah, come here. Stupid son of a bitch. Come here, you stupid sons of bitches. There we go. That's one dead. Uh, right, I'll take you. I'll take you. Ah, come here! 
Ow! Don't touch my horse! What horse can I do to you? Oh, here we go! There we go, we won! We won! Excellent! The battle has been won by me and my horde of non-horse lickers. Yes, I'm looking at you. Didn't lick my horse, bitch. I'm gonna turn the sound down just a bit so they're not screaming as loud. So you guys... So they don't go over my voice. I spare me, spare my life. Let me go and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade and you'll never hear of me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. Either you or your mates kidnap the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts and you can go free. Oh sir, sorry, oh bless you sir, bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Gizm. Or Gizm. So, uh, sorry guys, we had uh, a little bit of awkward stop-start recording there. Um, I got the location of the merchant's brother, which is excellent, and we're back here in the field. Uh, just like I said, I had to stop-start recording, so we, you missed a little bit, not a lot. Uh, I think this here is a good place to wrap it up. So, we're going next, uh, next episode, we're going to go and find the merchant's brother near Gizm, a funny name, I know. And we're going to bring him back, hopefully, in one piece. So, thank you guys for watching Xavier Gaming. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video. It, it really means a lot to me. It means you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe so you can see more videos when they come out. So, thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye!